Okay, Assalamualaikum Welcome back to my channel Good afternoon, morning everyone Okay, because I'm recording this at night actually uh, How are you guys, girl? Uh, on today's video uh, We'll do on the rest of this chapter 5 uh, The second part is actually on this uh, Online interview skill And also the negotiation techniques Okay, hold on for a second. Okay then. Okay, for the last uh, uh, Q and A actually for this class ASM, or ASM like UBM five five nine nine for the class BA two three two four C. Sixteen has turned in. Okay. While for the other class, uh, the other class is. Class BA242, right? Let me take a first glance on this one first. For the other class, yeah, everyone has turned in. Very good. Okay. Uh, monetary, sorry. Okay, uh, straight to the uh, chapter on this content on this uh, chapter. Okay, uh, two chances to get a job, especially in the freelancer platform, also on the Upworks, uh, by you have a bidding process uh, done, or you will uh, will be contacted directly, uh, will be appointed directly by the employers. Okay, so of course the bidding you have to compete with the other freelancer, while for this uh, straight appoint by the uh, employer usually happens to the client that you have uh, history uh, working with uh, with you at the past okay mostly uh, they want to have another good time with you okay another collaboration so they will just appoint you for the second third time lah okay okay uh, one thing one tips is never accept any uh, jobs uh, without the uh, in the without of course sorry without uh, outside from the platform meaning that outside from the freelancer or outside from the upworks okay I uh, will go to details on that one later okay helpful tips on bidding okay uh, just you can read this one but I just gonna go quickly on this one propose a realistic timeline meaning that okay uh, if you can if you in your capacity in your knowledge in your skills with your skill you have you can complete that job in maybe two three days you don't promise the employer you can finish in one day or two days okay because you have to be realistic so if that job is complicated or complex you have to maybe have a one day extra to make sure you are you can deliver the job to the employee at the a specific time they propose lah okay and then prepare a standard proposal for each specific skill this one you can refer to the uh, link that i have pro provided to you and then read the job description uh, carefully you have to know actually what kind of job what kind of uh, burden the lot uh, that the employee will give you because sometimes they don't clarify actually uh, in this uh, job description what actually uh, the kind of things of job you have to do because sometimes it just list like general okay uh, I can say that some of the employee have a hidden agenda maybe uh, they want to scam you they advertise uh, on the job description just like simple work but actually it's more than that so you have to be careful so there are a negotiation technique later we will look on uh, to make sure that you are not dalam you're not in this uh, kind of situation uh, okay include the crucial project information in the proposal to show that you understand the job description okay you have to stress out what the main things that you want to deliver okay do not copy and paste irrelevant information in the submission okay jangan simply copy paste uh, betul-betul je okay you have to edit uh, sikit lah tunjuk you punya effort uh, bit, bit early in the morning because we want to avoid actually uh, the competitions from the Europe's and the US because let's like say 8 morning 8 10 to mo uh, 8 to 10 in the morning Malaysian time lah so actually in the UK baru pukul 
tiga empat pagi kan and of course US pun sama so you have to apa ni uh, bid early in the morning lah to have a less competitors Okay, if the bidding is over 10, you can look at the uh, jobs. Okay, sorry. Uh, okay, this you can look at the proposal. Mostly this one have a nine bits, so it's less than 10. So chance you to get this job just to compete with the the others nine uh, freelancer is higher lah compared to they have another maybe hundred bits kat sini ada 90 more than 20 your chance will be get slimmer lah ok faham so if the bidding is over 10 need to bid for the other job so because we are using the free punya account we have a limited bid so use your bids betul-betul uh, lah kan ok another is tips for writing a perfect cover letter it is one on this uh, I like a proposal tadi uh, Use a professional friendly tone Relate back to the job post Demonstrate you have read descriptions Okay, respond to the question Follow the directions And ask clarifying questions Okay, if you uh, have a uh, thought Or uh, any things that you want to clarify Yes, you ask the question Because uh, later on You have to do that work If uh, you suddenly appointed with that job Okay, we read, edit and consider and do not copy paste this cover letter or the proposal. Alright, prepare for the interview. Oh yeah, then also interview, okay. Be flexible with time zone, communication and preference because because like uh, UK or US, now is I am 11.05 p.m. now I'm recording this video. So in the US is 11 a.m. In the UK, I think is 4 o'clock, I think. 5 o'clock in the afternoon uh, in the evening so yes you have to be flexible mostly maybe you can have an interview or maybe have this video call at 23 pukul 23 pagi standard okay and make sure to understand the job requirements uh, job double check your your equipment before you're starting this uh, interview so make sure everything is perfect tip top be professional and honest. Do not mislead the client. Ask for detail about the job. Ask if there is the deadline for hiring and thank them for the interview. Mostly, if you are invited for the interview, uh, mostly in the Upwork and Freelancer platform, you are actually a potential candidate to get the job. Okay, They shortlisted you as uh, several, maybe they have uh, 10 proposal, uh, maybe 20 proposal, then they have selected 3. Uh, to do the job so they want to ensure that they get the right people they do this interview so you have to perform well uh, during this interview so before the interview determine the best hardware to use okay you want to use a laptop or PC make sure your webcam is okay uh, the sound is clear mostly is about the sounds and the internet connections Okay, select the proper location for the interview okay uh, your surroundings your rooms uh, on the interview make sure it looks professional test all the technology or uh, meaning that test your hardware okay before you try to call your friends okay, to look at these uh, uh, connections and schedule at least one more interview okay uh, maybe you can schedule with your friends or your families uh, plan for glitches if let's say there's sangkut ke during the call to yes you ask the question to clarify on the things complete the full interview preparation okay this for interview on the interview uh, again test your test all equipment priority interview time dress professionally yeah, even though you are in this uh, at home okay or somewhere else so you have to look uh, professional okay kalau rambut panjang tu sikit 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 ke apa ke uh, dress up betul betul lah like you want to go for this uh, real interview because right now because of the PKP time actually like this one a virtual career fair tips and preparation yeah you have to uh, they do this uh, kind of uh, in virtual interview lah. like uh, using a zoom app application or top of Google Google meet Skype and etc or Webex when so yes you have to update resume prepare all the document and of course your device to all the session hopefully the session is running smoothly ah. 
last is okay before that one prepare the setting document and note and dress professionally okay so that are some tips lah uh, remember your non bubble look directly into the camera okay uh, have a eye contact with this interviewer uh, have a conversation yes you ask a question if you don't understand if you want to clarify something don't malu malu nak tanya so not if you uh, need them let's say have a critical uh, information ke make sure that you jot down that things and take a second okay don't rush your interview after the interview of course uh, hopefully you can write an email uh, like a thank you note and follow up on the progress let's say try ask the interviewer lah how long they want to decide uh, on this uh, who get the job later okay okay that's the first part on the second topics on the study is uh, online interview skill okay simple just like you just want to stress out uh, just want to review back so that you are uh, fresh on this thing Okay, uh, we go to the negotiation techniques. Okay, there are 10 negotiation techniques here. So, of course, the first one is prepare, prepare, prepare. Uh, maksudnya, yes, you have to do uh, rehearsal lah sebenarnya. Pay attention to timing, okay. Uh, timing to this, uh, complete the job. Timing to uh, what else. Okay, and leave behind your ego, okay. During the negotiation, yes, uh, if you can have a win-win situation, okay, maybe boleh betul ansur lah kat Ramp up your listening skill because, of course, English is, some, is not our uh, first language. So, try to keep listening on the English uh, uh, movies or whatever so that you are familiar with. Uh, maybe if you don't uh, uh, hurt clearly enough just ask the interviewer to uh, repeat back again okay so if pardon can I repeat back on this kind of thing blah 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 okay if you don't ask you don't get yeah meaning if you yeah don't uh, if you don't ask them you you don't know lah sebenarnya anticipate the compromise compromise ni is uh, apa dia uh, deal lah uh, between these two parties uh, to have a win-win situation or maybe yes they have the demand this one and let's say they want something from you make sure you can uh, if you can deliver yes you agree with that if you cannot deliver just say no and then offer and expect commitment okay once you accept the job yes you have to bear in mind that you are responsible to get the job done uh, on the specific time okay don't absorb their problems this is the important things meaning that if they have uh, another program uh, outside from the scope of the job you don't uh, bother to interrupt or take your place over there lah jangan libatkan diri dengan masalah yang tak berkaitan langsung uh, state your principle okay if you are uh, Macam mana eh, cakap ni uh, You want to have a $20 per hour ke Ataupun you want to Don't want to be uh, Dikacau Disturb in the morning ke apa ke So just Stand out your principle kat situ lah And close with confirmation Once you done Okay uh, both parties agree So make sure that the you Both parties agrees on that kind of thing Okay, there's another one you have to bear in mind is a cross-cultural negotiations. So, because okay, the Western culture, for Japanese culture, for yeah, it's one you learn in the communication things, right? So, do research on the unique elements of style of these uh, other culture. Avoid action that are offensive in the other cultures. Avoid stereotypes, of course. Kalau boleh jangan ada macam mana racial racist things ni happen during the interview okay sorry do not adopt negotiation style of the other culture you just be yourself okay uh, success of the cross-cultural negotiation depends on respecting each other rather than style okay yes you just stick be yourself okay stand up with, with your principle everything should be going smoothly okay dealing with the conflicts okay sometimes uh, as you plan uh, things going uh, smoothly but 
in the middle of time we don't know kan kan uh, macam pusaka kan panas hingga ke petang rupanya ribut di tengah hari tak ada okay uh, negotiation focus on the client needs because they are customers always right okay they are the, our customers sebenarnya so do not react or you have to respond sebenarnya respond with your uh, delivery of the job tu sebenarnya let your position go okay let's say let position go to uh, actually you have to put yourself in this employer's punya expectation lah. but if you cannot commit with that kind of job just uh, maybe six uh, compromise tadi ke okay i cannot do this can we agree to stop the job ke whatever all right seek the clarity ask if i uh, have anything in mind look for a win win outcome okay we we want to have the uh, both parties have a win win situation and of course we have to maintain the relationship because once you done with this uh, employers the possibility if you do the job good you give them uh, excellent uh, works on time tip top so maybe there are another uh, job will goes to you later on All right, the pricing and negotiation uh, negotiating. Okay, pricing research your market, consider the client point of view, factor in time, complexity, efforts, complexity of the work sebenarnya. So, what the effort that you have to uh, gone through to complete the job. If involve this buying another equipment or software, so please put that on your uh, budget lah semua tu. And negotiating is uh, maintain a professional professional tones. Be willing to withdraw if you cannot get an agreement. Early conflict can be a red flag. Okay, uh, if that uh, situation happens in the early of your works, try to negotiate. Uh, work outside uh, of upwork eliminates all your protection. If you working at ataupun you deliver some of this work outside from the platform. Yes, you actually put yourself in danger because you are actually not uh, in this protection of this uh, freelancer platform or Upwork platform because uh, they are not recorded if you're doing uh, outside when your uh, works lah, maksudnya outside from this platform. So everything the uh, output, the deliverables of your works, you have to submit in the platform. Okay, don't do uh, any communication outside from the platform because it's not recorded. Then they just can run away like that. Okay, you don't get any pay after that. Okay, making it work. Create a workspace with minimal distraction. Okay, this one to complete your work. Sebenarnya. Set regular work hours so that client know when you are available. Okay, uh, kalau boleh set the time sebenarnya dengan client ni when you have a meeting. Set up a kick-off meeting with your client. Okay, sama juga. Communicate regularly, okay, mostly uh, we'll communicate through the email and keep the upload team app on, okay, this one like a notification as well. Okay, on this one, get rewarded for the great performance, send a thank you for message to the client, let them know you are available for more work, okay, let's say this one, uh, the job has done uh, completely. So, ask the client to close the contract and provide their owner's feedback, get approval, display your finished project in your portfolios, adjust your hourly rate if necessary. Let's say, before this, you have uh, like a $19 ke, you want to up uh, $21, $25 ke, because you have already this uh, feedback. So, your portfolio has been uh, okay. So, add, add, add any new skill you have acquired to your profile yeah, during your times, during... Uh, previous work you get any other uh, knowledge ke you can put on your portfolio and move on the next job okay effective communication nowadays yes by uh, do the homework in email okay email ni like an official uh. if just from the chat application like it, i can consider that it's not an official things so if you want to make it official is by through the email uh. Uh, on the call, face to face meeting and ask the question to clarify dalam email ya. Okay, habis on this negotiation technique ditanya identify 10 negotiation techniques. So hopefully you get uh, some of this, right? 
thank you for your feedback okay on the last ni uh, for the second part ni I also ask you a questions on this negotiation technique and this uh, interview skills okay thank you for watching hope everyone doing fine stay at home see you on the next video thank you